with a small S. Yes. Somebody say yes to the one thing. Yes. So that eternal life that you have is in the residence of your spirit. Yes. Now what you have to do until he comes for you is keep your body under subjection. Yes. Because your body will send your soul to hell.
Yes, I'm here to tell you he's alive. Yes. Now, one of the best things about his resurrection is this. All right. And I want everybody to do it. Sharisha wants you to do it too. All right. All right. When you put your faith in the sacrificial death of Jesus Christ uh -huh. and let him bear well, the guilt of your sin, his righteousness is credited to you yes. and you are justified. Yes. Just as if you had never seen it. I want you to say this. I don't make a deal. How much drug do you shot? It doesn't matter how much you lay around on your body. It doesn't matter how much of the can't help that you got. It doesn't matter. I mean, you can be, amen, the, the, the finest. You can be the whatever. When you put your faith in the sacrificial death of Jesus Christ and let him back the guilt of your sin. The Bible says his righteousness yes. is imputed to you and you are justified just as if you had never known sin because Jesus' righteousness have never known sin. Yes. Well, let me go over to stand with me. Here's the, here's the essence of that. God made him to be sin for you who knew no sin that you might be made the righteousness of God in him. Come and 
separate you like this. Right. Now that's the God is not a right. now, it's not that it's not what we believe. God is a good God. God is a merciful God. I said there are many arguments of immortality. But one thing that's more reassuring than logic. That is the fact that we have fellowship with the Father and with His Son right now. You don't wait to get it. You have fellowship with the Father and His Son, and we have it right now. Now let me tell you this, and I'll stop. Sanctified preachers have two, have about three times.